and take a look. I got to hand it to my students. I get uh, exposed to a lot of new things because they come in and say, hey, have you heard this or have you heard that or have you heard of this band? And this is a band I was not familiar with um, till a few weeks ago, till one of my students came in and said, hey, I'm working on this song called One Horse Town by a band called Blackberry Smoke. Well, turns out these guys have some really cool tunes. And uh, the main songwriter, guitar player, singer is named Charlie Starr, and he's got a great voice. And it's kind of in the contemporary... Uh, country, southern rock sort of sound. Uh, nice little lead in the middle of it, and the reason I haven't played any of the rest of it yet is I'd like you to listen to it first and see what you can figure out, because you can hear the chord changes pretty easily. You probably saw what I just played right there. You could probably figure that out by what, what, what you heard and what you saw. Pay attention to the bass notes. There's a little run of four notes doo -doo 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 -doo, leading into an alternating bass on a couple of chords. And um, those two chords are a big clue as to what key it's in and what other chords to be looking for. It uses mostly chords from one key, the key that those two chords are in that I started with, which were A minor and C, by the way. I'll give a little of this away. And then, um, but there's also a secondary dominant that happens in there, and it uses not really all the chords in the key, but really close. All three majors, two of the minors, and one secondary dominant. So, um, check out the videos first before, well, you can go right into the lesson. It's gonna be, it's a pretty easy strumming song. We're gonna take a look at the lead, too. There's a really cool little lead that happens in there too. We'll talk about that. So I don't usually throw those into, I don't throw those into many lessons, but that one's kind of nice. And so we will take a look at it as well. Uh, that's it for this little introduction. Listen to the song, see if you can figure out the chords. There, it, it doesn't follow the normal sequence of a lot of country type songs. So it's, it uses, um, it just sometimes goes where you don't expect, which makes the melody a little more interesting than a lot of others. So anyway, coming up, a lesson on Blackberry Smokes, One Horse Town. Well, there you have the intro, and I have tablature to this just part. part you know, uh, pointing out and picking out those notes, but it's a very simple little pattern of four eighth notes starting on beat three of the measure, and so we're going to be alternating downs and ups, and it's D, E, D, C, and give the C a little bit of a bend just to make it sound a little more twangy country kind of sound. As opposed to, right there, I just hit it flat. You want to hear this? tiny little yank on it, pulling it down. Uh, once we get to the A in the bass, that A is the is the on beat one of the first measure of A minor. We start our strumming pattern. And so I just have the bass notes written in in the tab, not the, um, you know, not the strumming, but it's bass, down, up, bass, up, down, up. Or you could, you could have the up in the, in the first half as well. It really wouldn't make that big a difference. Um, the second run lands on B instead of C because it's going to a C chord. And this is a good time to work on your C chord alternating the bass, bass back and forth as opposed to trying to remember to use your fourth finger for that C, which is not, would not seem, it's not difficult, but it's not particularly intuitive. So, okay, so that's what we have in the intro. The little, the little run into the A minor using with the bent C. run into the C. Now one other thing I do when I'm picking out single notes for more than just like a single bass note is you can anchor your hand lightly. What I do is put the, 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 the knuckle of my little finger kind of goes almost on the sound hole. So I've been strumming and that gives, gives really good accuracy for picking out those notes. Then when I get to the C chord, I let go again, and I want to put the anchor down again. Back again. And then we're off 
into the progression. Well, there's a nice little lead uh, played after the second chorus, and I uh, just decided to show you a, a pretty much a, an approximation of it, but it's got some ni nice little things in it that are, that are kind of cool. It comes out of the last chord, the last, the last C chord, at the end of the uh, second chorus, and it has a couple of pickup notes. Most of it takes place at around the fifth fret, following notes out of an A minor scale, even though we're kind of... Uh, using it, it's starting on a D minor chord, so we're going to see note, notes out of that D minor chord. So, take a look at the tab. We've got a little pickup, three notes: uh, hammer on from G to A and C on the last eighth note of of the pickup measure. And a D minor chord played as a bar would be an A shape, A minor shape at the fifth fret. And that's really what we get. A couple of things out of here. We end up with a hammer on from a, a tiny bar at the fifth. Just three strings is all you need. Hammering on two notes out of the D minor chord. 